Hey everyone, in this video we'll be learning about .NET MAUI button control using the C# code and here you can see the comparison between the uh, .NET MAUI XAML code as well as .NET MAUI the C# code and as per my personal opinion the C# code looks a little bit better than that of XAML but it depends upon you as well as as well as your use cases but uh, let's uh, learn about the C# code in our uh, video itself to get more knowledge about the uh, implementation details of the .NET MAUI button control. So let's get started with the video. Let's create a new blank .NET MAUI project. As of now, this is 2022, we have .NET MAUI XAML template project as a startup project. But I think in future, the MAUI team is going to make the CSAP only template for .NET MAUI. So let's get started. So our main page is going to call our app cell uh, that is our the heart and brain of the app which uh, calls the main page as its UI. That means now the cell is going to wrap our main page at first whenever our application starts. So now our main objective is to add a csap ui so in order to do that we are going to select .NET maui here you can see we have a content page as a csap so let's give a name as my button i'll just cut that thing up yeah page.cs now i'm just going to add that csap page ui to the project now nice we got our csap ui page that is going to have some default ui controls and uh, here i'll just copy it and then paste it inside the app cell which encapsulate our ui that means main page was being called at first whenever our application starts and now we are going to encapsulate this my button page as my default start project so that our app cell is going to encapsulate my button page and uh, which is going to be visible whenever our application loads so let's start the uh, windows machine as of now in order to uh, get our result so this is the output that we were expecting and it just it is just printing the label in the ui now our main objective is to uh, put the button ui control in order to put that button ui control at first we need to add the dotnet maui community toolkit markup extension package so here we'll just type maui community and it will just populate the package for our dotnet maui community markup that is a csap markup extension that helps to write the dotnet maui ui code in csap fluently but the readme.txt file and here it is going to tell us uh, the implementation detail of how to use it so i'll just copy that and then paste it over here and uh, right click on this uh, use maui community toolkit markup then it will just populate this uh, bulb that is our help which uh, uh, takes this uh, the NuGet package implementation using statement. So now what is going to happen is that we are going to write the same code in our .NET MAUI new UI page that was just now created. So let's get started with the UI creation. So here we know that the stack layout is apparent and the label is the children. So we are just going to remove that label and transform into the button because we are going to play around with the button control. And here I'll be discussing about the button control only. And if you are uh, interested to learn about .NET MAUI label control, then you can just uh, uh, use my playlist to understand. Now here we are just going to add the text uh, in the button control that is uh, something like dot net maui and then we can inherit this text from the dot net maui markup uh, tool extension that we just uh, now added so uh, here we'll just use all the properties that are there inside the button and try to cover every every controls uh, properties so here you can see we have a font uh, property which uh, helps us to know about what is the field that we can add so you can just play around with those values of your own so here you can see i'm just going to give the front font size of the button as 18 and then uh, giving the bold uh, property with uh, true that means our button text is a bold um, property and then i'm just going to give the height of the button as 70 and now let's take the width of the button as something like 190 and then uh, let's go ahead with the text 
color because we just want the text color of the button to be uh, something like uh, colors dot color that you like but here you need to understand what is color as well as the colors there are two properties where you can take it individually and then bind it now here we can see it uh, the background color and here you can see the background color is can't be set and uh, in order to set the background color of the button we have to take it inside the uh, button with the, the curly braces so here button color can be used uh, with the colors dot red so that we get a uh, button with the red color property because that is uh, not as of now implemented inside the parameter method so here padding can be set as uh, one and then uh, the same as like jamal how we rewrote the code is also on the c sub it's really easy okay so here uh, we can take the button to the center of the stack layout as a parent so this button is going to be placed horizontally as well as vertically whenever uh, we are going to put that button to the stack layout as a parent but you have to watch out this button is going to be centered to the stack layout okay but uh, the whole button won't be there at the center of the screen ui because stack layout is a parent and this stack layout is at the top of the ui that's why the uh, ui is going to be visualized as the button will be placed at center and uh, stack is the parent that's why it is at the top of the ui where we are going to put that uh, button to the center of the top uh, stack layout as a parent expected output nice so here you can see on the top of the stack layout we are going to place that button to the center of the stack layout horizontally as well as vertically now let's put that whole stack layout to the center of the screen so that we are going to uh, place that button to the center of the screen that means stack to the center that's why the button to the center so uh, here we have another property for the stack layout that is uh, vertical option equals to letter layout option dot center so this is what is required in order to put that whole stack to the center if the parent is in center then the children is uh, obviously going to be at center of the screen so it is going to be there at and let's run the application to see if uh, we are going to get the as expected output or not let's wait for some time nice so stack layout is at the center of the screen and then button is also at the center of the screen i just want you to play with those values as much as uh, possible because uh, do you understand this is it is really easy so here uh, the border width uh, will be like uh, three that means we are going to give the border to the button and then border color will be like uh, any color that you want so here watch out the property if you are using color or colors if you are using color then you can just bind it to the hex file hex colors and here uh, as like a label per control what we have used that is our line break mode that uh, that is we can just uh, truncate the uh, button text from the center as well as uh, truncate from the uh, last as well as the first two as well as we can just change it to odap and here i'm just going to give the coordinate radius as 30 and then rotation x for the button as anything any any rotation from the x axis you can just give it uh, to the button and uh, from the y2 uh, i'm just going to give it to 30 so that we have some uh, button that uh, just rotates got as expected output so let's try to put another property that is our button click uh, or whenever that button is clicked then uh, what happens so same as like jamal but it is really easy inside the csa here we are just going to use the command property and then uh, use some action as like let's go at top and then start typing execute and then uh, we are going to write something like async async and then uh, just to, uh, put some pa parameter methods and then uh, inside the execution method we are going to put anything as we like so here you can see i'm just going to uh, just uh, go uh, going to display the pop up whenever the button is clicked so we are going to execute a button whenever it's clicked so uh, let's uh, display a pop-up so here you can see we, we have to give the title message as well as the uh, string for the string cancel for the um, alert property so here i'll just give the alert uh, a title message with i love my and then c sub and then at last uh, we can just give the text for okay or cancel so 
that's all now we are ready to run the application and this very four lines of four to five lines of code is going to uh, help us uh, give the uh, expected output whenever the button is clicked Let's wait for some time nice we got our as expected output whenever that button is clicked and uh, one alert is going to be displayed so in our later part of the videos i'll just uh, use this same method in order to navigate to different places and we'll be using some cell navigation so till then stay safe keep calm and we'll be learning dotnet mama c sap more thanks thanks a lot